In this video, we will learn how to install Pandas, Python and Jupyter Notebook in Windows 11. Then we will also look how to start the Jupyter Notebook and play with Pandas. First of all, open the command prompt. Now check if Python is installed or not. For that, we need to type in the command Python hyphen hyphen version. If Python is already installed, it will show the version of Python. If Python is not installed, it will show an error like this. Now, as Python is not installed here, we will first install Python. For that, type in the command Python. It will open Microsoft Store and Python app in it. Press the Get button here. We will start downloading Python. Once downloaded, it will automatically install it for us. It will take some time to install. Remember, this is the way to install Python on Windows 11. If you are using earlier version of Windows, then you need to go to Python site, that is python.org. And from the download section, you need to download Python installer and then install using this. Now let's go back to our Windows 11 Microsoft Store and check if it is done with installing Python or not. It is now downloading Python. Once done with downloading, it will install Python and pip. It shows Python is installed. Now let's recheck from the command prompt if our Python and pip installations were successful or not. Go back to the command prompt. Type the command python hyphen hyphen version. If Python is installed, it shows the version of Python on our site. Since our installation was successful, it shows us that Python version 3.10.3 .3 is installed. Now let's start the Python interpreter by typing the command Python. Let's try to print some strings. It means Python is properly installed and is working fine. Now let's type the command exit to go back to the Windows command prompt. Let's check if pip is installed or not. For that, type the command pip hyphen hyphen version. Pip with version 22.0.4 is installed. Python and pip are both installed. Now we can easily install pandas using the pip command. For that, type the command pip install pandas. It will download the pandas package and install it. It will take some time. It's done. Now let's check if pandas is appropriately installed or not. If yes, then let's check its version. For that, start Python interpreter using Python command. Import pandas module as pd alias. If there is no error after this line, then it means pandas is installed properly. Now, to check the installed pandas version, type the command pd.version. 
it will print pandas version like in our case it is 1.4.1 now pandas is installed type the command exit to come back to the command prompt clear the screen using cls command pandas is a python package we can also check what packages are installed in python till now for that use the command pip freeze it shows already installed packages all these packages like numpy etc are installed by pandas now let's install jupyter notebook for that we need to use command pip install jupyter it will download the jupyter package it will take some time to install Till then, let's have a look at what is Jupyter Notebook. Well, Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application. It allows data scientists to create and share documents that integrate live code, equations, computational output, visualizations, and other multimedia resources along with explanatory text in a single document. Like most data scientists, we will also use the Jupyter Notebook for learning and exploring pandas. Now let's go back to the installation screen. Jupyter Notebook is installed. Let's clear the screen using CLS command. Let's check what packages are installed in Python till now. For that, use the command pip freeze. We can see the installed packages. Let's create a directory, workspace, and move inside it. Now let's start the Jupyter Notebook using python minus m notebook command. It will start the server and open the default browser with the Jupyter Notebook. Now go to the new menu and create a new python file. Give a name to this file. Now we can execute Python commands in this notebook. For example, let's import the pandas module as pd. Press shift and enter to execute this line. And Check the version of pandas using pd.version command. Press shift and enter to execute this line. Pandas version is 1.4.1. .1. Now let's go back to the previous tab and create a CSV file in this folder. This CSV file contains some employees information. Let's save it as employees.csv. CSV file and Python file are created in the folder from where we started the Jupyter Notebook. Therefore, we created the workspace folder earlier. 
Let's go back to the Python file. Now, now we will use pandas read CSV function to load the CSV file to a data frame. Press shift and enter to execute this line. Let's print the data frame contents. We will discuss more about data frames in upcoming videos. In this video, we saw Python and Pandas installation steps and how to use Jupyter Notebook with Pandas. So that was it in this video. Please subscribe the channel. If you like the video, please press like and thank you for watching.